welcome to vlog number 21. Here's what's coming up in this week's episode. So, we are at Mark and Halima's wedding um, at Lodor Falls, uh, just outside of Keswick. I would love to be doing this bit to camera in the beautiful surroundings. Derwent Water is literally just beyond a wall in front of me, just over that direction. Um, but it's so windy you would not be able to hear a word I say. Um, it's so windy in fact that the videographer today, uh, Christian, has actually lost a drone in the water. It just decided to go the other way and then just fall from the sky. Um, it is hella windy today. but. We managed to get some awesome shots. So here is what has happened so far today. So here we are at Lador Falls. Halima was getting ready in the spa part of the hotel, which was just stunning with obviously the beautiful views. Great places inside. It was like a suite. So we had loads of little places to hang the dress and just get those little detail shots within the actual suite itself. So I love the little details like the dates on the hangers and those little preparations that all bride and grooms put into their wedding. Uh, so Mark was getting ready in the other part of the hotel. Always nice just to get the girls just getting all the fun shots, the laughter shots, the just really excitement in the morning along with obviously the, the hair and makeup that goes on. Obviously with these big windows we were getting some beautiful natural light in that room. Oh, the reveal, I love a good reveal. So this was mum walking in, uh, nobody had seen the dress, so there was a double reveal for mum and bridesmaids. It, this, this is the bit, I don't think I'm crying there, but this is the bit where I have to hold back tears because usually the whole room just fills with tears and crying. But yeah, some gorgeous reactions from the girls and it's always like you're so happy to see their friend getting married and all dressed up. And coming down the aisle, oh what a beautiful walkway. So Halima was coming from the hotel and did the long walk down the aisle on her own and it was just stunning. She decided very last minute, she'd wanted to get married outside and it was a bit twitch and go with the weather but she was just like let's go for it. So she braved it in the very cold, windy weather, but it was totally worth it. To have that backdrop for your wedding is just, you know, the thing of fairy tales, really. So it's just gorgeous. Nice little cafe shot. So this is Ian walking backwards along with the videographer, um, just to kind of get a movement shot as they're walking down. And then all the hellos and greetings. This is really cute because it's like the first time they've seen the bride and groom in the day for most guests. And so it's just really happy smiles. Some great reaction shots to get done here. So this is like the little conservatory bit before you go into the main room of Lador Falls. And then to the right of this picture is where the spa bit is and where the ceremony actually was. So we actually went up to a lookout point that the guys had found and I mean come on those views it was worth it. It's a bit of a treacherous drive over a little bridge getting there but totally totally worth it. But these guys had actually done their own private vows so these were personal ones just for each other and obviously the videographer got that and all the words and everything while well, we've got these stunning views as a backdrop. Totally totally worth the drive up there. I mean, when you're in the Lake District, you've got to make use of it. Then back to the hotel, and there is a jetty across the road from there. So it's a bit of a little trek in the, those heels, but Mark did the husbandly thing. So we've had an awesome time. The guests seem really cool. We've not had as much chance to spend time with guests so far today because we went on the trek up to the top bit, um, which you can actually see. It's just like up here somewhere. Um, they're the shots of Halima and Mark when they actually said the vows to each other um, at the top of the mountain with the gorgeous views over Don't Water Below. That was amazing. Um, but we've not had a great chance to spend loads of time with the guests, but they do seem up for it. They seem fun, so very much looking forward to later on. Uh, they're just eating at the moment, um, so we're just having like a little bit of a chill, a bit of a break, but then we'll be right back on it uh, when they are finished. So wedding breakfast done, speech is done and on to the party. 
So they had a lot of evening guests arrive, so it was an extended party up through the night, and this dance floor was full and rocking all night. It was such an awesome day, so thank you for having us. And then we are off to Blackpool for a pre-wedding with Georgina and Jack. So we ask our couples where they would like their pre-wedding shoot and these guys chose Blackpool because that's where they first got together which is very very cute. They brought along their little dog as well who we had a little fun with, that's Ian with his trick of getting the dog to look at the ball. Though I don't know how attentive he was at the ball that time. But yeah, though it was busy, we were able to get some kind of enclosed shots to make it look like it wasn't that busy. Love a good silhouette shot under the piers. We do this in Southport and Lytham as well. Um, and it's just always a nice, stunning shot. And of course, in Blackpool, you've got to get the tower in. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe or like the video. It helps a massive deal. And we'll see you next week.